as CR reporter on sustainable mobility, uh, you stressed how relevant is the role of uh, a long-term strategy for sustainable mobility in urban areas. Uh, should this be a requirement to access EU funding? Well, I've said for many years that urban areas need to have a sustainable urban mobility plan. This is a long-term strategy for the introduction of uh, transport infrastructure within the city. I think in those circumstances, if the C European Commission is providing money for transport initiatives within cities, uh, a precondition almost of that money being made available is those cities should have an urban mobility plan. I think one goes with the other. Do you think that the cities are ready to, to draft and implement these uh, strategies or they need a, a change of culture or vision? I think many cities are beginning to adopt this approach to transport matters within the cities. I think it's a, a, a fairly logical uh, a step to take that we should think long term, we should think in an integrated way, we should be talking about not just transport but access to employment, we should be talking about health issues and, uh, and many other aspects of what should be within an urban mobility plan, a sustainable urban mobility plan. So I would hope that cities across Europe, if they're not already approaching their transport infrastructure issues in that way, will now begin to do so. So what, what have you seen in Riga um, um, this, in this field? What, uh, how was uh, uh, this fruitful meeting uh, impacting on your, on your uh, previous ideas on, this, on these issues? I've not had the uh, opportunity to, uh, to understand whether Riga has adopted uh, such an approach, albeit the presentation we've had this morning from, uh, uh, from Latvia, from a Latvian representative, would suggest that there are elements of an integrated system, uh, whether those elements have been uh, taken forward on a mode of, of travel by mode of travel I, I don't I don't know um, but I would hope that this conference uh, will have brought uh, to uh, representatives of Riga and indeed of Latvia uh, the need to look at these matters in an integrated way okay now a, a completely different issue uh, the European Union is mobilized to define a common migration agenda uh, local authorities will be involved in implementing uh, if I, this potential uh, sharing of responsibilities. Uh, as leader of a, of a big urban community in, uh, in, uh, in the UK, uh, what is your position on this uh, common strategy? What, what are your expectations then? Well, first of all, I have to say there is a crisis uh, in the Mediterranean, uh, and that crisis cannot be resolved by Italy alone. Uh, the member states of Europe uh, have to come together here uh, and help solve this crisis. It's a humanitarian crisis of proportions we could never have imagined. Uh, we cannot allow hundreds and thousands of people to go on uh, drowning in, in the Mediterranean over the months to come. Uh, so we have to tackle this issue and we have to tackle it together as Europe uh, and not allow uh, Italy to, to bear the sole responsibility. Now that is going to be, uh, that's going to be difficult in many member states uh, because uh, some member states more than others have taken over the years um, a greater share of immigration into Europe. Um, my own country, uh, there is um, much concern expressed uh, uh, outside of my own political party, but within my own political party, uh, of the need to control immigration. But that hum humanitarian crisis um, uh, cannot be uh, left simply unattended to uh, because we have certain views about immigration into our own countries. Now, my own city has actually pledged, um, uh, this was at a very uh, recent conference uh, on uh, matters uh, relating to immigration, has pledged uh, that we will seek to take uh, a, a, a small a number of Syrian refugees uh, in a planned way uh, so that we can uh, uh, find the housing uh, and the, the educational opportunities that those refugees would need if they were to uh, access uh, my own city of Birmingham. So I think we need to look at this, not just as urban uh, uh, cities, but we need to look at it as member states, we need to look at it across Europe, and we need to get an integrated plan in place uh, which will deal with the humanitarian crisis that is in the Mediterranean. Do you think the Committee of the Regions can contribute to this process to build also consensus and sharing of, of priorities among member states from uh, the grassroots? I think if the uh, Committee of Regions uh, is to do anything here, it is about uh, urging uh, our cities, our member states, 
uh, urging Europe uh, to deal with this in an uh, integrated way. Um, the more voices there are saying exactly that, giving out that same message, the more it is we're likely to address these things um, urgently and properly. We cannot allow this humanitarian crisis to continue. It has to come to an end, and it's only we, uh, the, the cities and the member states of Europe, that can do that. Thank you, sir.